Yeah, I have something I want to talk about. Okay. My parents are moving to California. Whoa. Yeah, and not only are they moving to California, but they're moving to California really soon. And like in the next month or two, which means I'm not going to have Christmas anymore at my home that I grew up in. That's which crazy. Is fucking insane. That's rough. Nah, this month. Like Wait, they're, what? They're ready, to, they're ready to move within the next couple of weeks. They have a place they already bought. They bought a place. It's over. Wait, Can, when? Like two weeks ago. They, my dad closed the deal. My Christmases are going to be spent here in the fucking heat. <laughs> and like, like, well, I'm not, I'm not worried about your Christmas. I'm worried about the fact that now we're not going to go home as much because it's like, well, I guess the boys are there. But like that was so nice is that we would go home and I could go home with you and I could be in my own home at the same time. Okay, okay. So you, this is about yourself. Yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you do understand, like, like it sucks. Like imagine having Christmases in like a cold place, and now I'm gonna have it in California. Like that just feels so weird. I'm gonna drive 45 minutes for my Christmas. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drive 45 minutes, and when I'm done with my awkward family dinner, I'm gonna drive 45 minutes back to Los Angeles, where no one is left because everyone went home for the holidays. Yeah, yeah. That's here. gonna be fucking brutal. That is so sad. It's so sad, and I can't explain that to my parents. So maybe if they hear it on this podcast, I'll get through to them. Yeah, but then you get to see them throughout the year, and you don't have to fly. That's there. a double whammy. <laughs> That's a two in one. I don't believe that for a second. You're just saying that to be funny. No, what part? You'll get into your parents soon. Ew. You will. <laughs> You'll start to you know, appreciate Get inside that. my parents? Yeah. <laughs> no, and not only that, but they're leaving and my sister, she's going to start her senior year next year. Oh, they're cutting her out. And they're, uh, now she's going to go to a different school. And like, you know me, I'm the biggest fan of high school. So like senior year is the most, was the most important year of my life. I right. Was the best, be on Zoom was anyway. the best year of my life. And they're going to take that away from her. I think that I think she like wants to leave. I think she hates. No, I just talked to her on the phone. I talk, <laughs> She didn't say much. <laughs> I talked to her on the phone, and I was like, and I was like, I, I was like, I was like, so hey, I, our parents are moving. Like, and she's like, I the hate. Only time you talk to her. She's like, like, she's like, I hate it. I'm like, I know you do. And I'm like, and I told her, I was like, this is the moment. You, you know, this is a moment you rebel. I literally, I use those words. I was like, this is the moment, like, like, you know, like, so in, oh my God. like, so I, so fucked up. you're literally splitting your family. I was apart. like, I was like, you know, like in those Disney movies when like the family wants to move away and like yeah. the kids will go through this whole thing just to show their parents how much it means to them to stay at this place. Yeah. This is that time for you. And I was like, you have to show them. And she's like, no, no, no. They only listen to you. And I'm like, fuck no, they don't listen to me. You have this <laughs> what? Com- what do you, you want her to do? You have this Wait, completely wrong. You want her to chain herself to the radiator? Chain herself to the radiator. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, chain yourself to the radiator. She's going to be so much happier here. You think? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then we're good. I mean, we, guys, I know you like Vernon Hills, but come on. But Jay, this is a fucking <laughs> place. Yeah, but it's Jay, also- I would never raise my fucking kids here. They're not moving here. to LA. They're moving to a different town. I know, but I'd never raise my bro, kids here, bro. It's, it's fucking killer. You go to the beach. It's fucking 70 degrees every day. Bro, it's but everyone's here. kids here are spoiled. They're not moving to LA. Your son has 14 iPads. <laughs> like, I don't want my siblings. I don't want, I don't want my kids having that. I don't want. But I, they're not moving to LA. I understand that, but there's something about California that like and like and like the way no, that your parents are drill sergeants. I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing. I don't think so. Them. I think the moving to California is them letting the drill sergeant vibe go, and now they're like, we are out in Malibu enjoying the sun. <laughs> like I think it's like a new vibe to them. <laughs> Christina Paula, I'm not saying you're a drill sergeant. That was just a turn of phrase. <laughs> it's actually in America. That's a nice thing to say <laughs> to call somebody. I don't know. I'm kind of worried. I wouldn't be. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely on your page. I think that we should booby trap their house. Thank like, you. Or like really, like scare them out. Booby trap. Like, uh, you ever like seen have it? tits everywhere? <laughs> like when when they come here, there's just women, just tits all over the wall. Yeah, yeah tits everywhere. Like, oh, you should have moved to California. There's tits everywhere. <laughs> You've been booby trapped. <laughs> My God, so many boobs. What is going on in here? <laughs> what is this? How are you not like more about cr- how crazy this is, Natalie? You what out of all p- you out of all people should be should what do you be want to do? go burn the fucking new house down or what? Natalie, I'm but you, you you do think this is crazy, like spending Christmas here. Yeah, it is crazy. It is very, very crazy. Like, it's, it's like gonna, insane. It's gonna be really weird. It, especially like you're like all about oh, I love seasons. Like, you should know how much this is going to Well, I love a cold Christmas, but aside from the fact that there won't be snow and the weather's different, it's just like everybody is home on Christmas. Yeah, that's the point. In Chicago. And and you really don't like change, do you? Well, obviously, I hate change. And and now I'm going to be be a stranger 
in my parents' new house. Every time I come, I will be a guest rather than a place that I grew up in. And that's fucking crazy to it me. It is like sad. Like when you go home for Christmas and the holidays, like you go to your childhood home. If I'm at my house, yeah. like I feel a level of comfort no matter what. Uh huh. So you're happy when you're there. Yeah. And that's going to be gone now. Like right. that's completely gone. Now I'm going to visit my parents in a place. It, it's like they're at an Airbnb. Like I'm, I'm, I'm never going to be connected to that place because the most I'm going to spend there is a night. Right. Especially because I'm right down the street and I can just drive back to my own house. Why don't you want to like have like a new experience? Like it'd be so nice to like, maybe you can like improve your relationships with them. Maybe you can take up biking with your dad and bike up PCH. Oh my God. I'm going to burn this house down. <laughs> no, but I, I don't understand. Like I, I feel like. I'm surprised you don't understand. I do. I understand where you're coming from. Like I understand like you're, you're longing for that. And like, yeah, it's your childhood home is going away. But it's also like, that's also like good. Like you've moved on. You no. have a whole new life. Yes, you do. You have a whole new life. Now it's time for your parents to be able to have a whole new life. They raised you. They got you here. Right. That's that. That's the. That's where I'm being unfair. It's yeah. like I'm not being fair to my parents at all. And like my parents totally do deserve to go to a new house because right. they're tired of Vern Hills. But like I'm just like fuck. That I get sucks. That. I, I understand where you're coming. from. I'm like, can we at least spend one last Christmas there? Like, I've never <laughs> been this excited to spend Christmas Are you with doing my family. It? No. Oh, you're not. No, this Christmas. There. This Christmas well, is think, already going to be. I think be... we have a little lesson here, Dave. What's the lesson? It's to appreciate what you have mm-hmm. before it's gone. That's true. Wow. Someone like Taylor, someone like Ilya, and someone like Ella. What about Natalie? Not Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? You're saying I should appreciate these people? Yeah. Well, now, now. Oh, all those times, quit, huh? all those times, I've been there with you during the holidays. All those times you were there, like running, like, "Mom, I can't fucking talk. I gotta go watch John. I gotta go fucking hit deeper with a car." <laughs> yeah, I gotta, go, I gotta go vlog. Yeah, I gotta go vlog. Yeah, yeah. 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 So now yeah. all those times, you know, now when you go to their new house, you know, make new memories. Sounds fucking miserable. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs>